Tinkin crisis. So I woke up this morning and had uh, probably eight of my fish were dead. So these are the fish that we have in here. We also have a nerite snail and a mystery snail. And last night we saw this, some eggs, and I looked it up and it could be Corydora eggs. I want it to be angelfish eggs. Yeah. I think angelfish eggs look more like teardrops and they have way more than that. But then, over here, we have some on the very back wall. Yeah, they're so small. You can barely see it on cam. Yeah. They're bigger than I would have expected. It, it could be Corydora eggs, but I don't know if they would be fertilized. They are white and they have a little yellow embryo. They're flat. They're really flat. They're really I just don't know why the fish aren't eating them. Hmm. Because they eat stuff off of glass all the time. Maybe they I mean, know look, eggs? Say they eat like algae off of stuff. The um the platies do. So I'm not sure why they haven't like found that. Oh, 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 I found I found I found him and there's his crack looking shell. Oh, he got a crack looking shell? Yeah. Mm. He's okay though. Yeah. Got a black nerite racer snail in here too. But, oh, there he is. He's in between that. He's got little circles on his shell yeah. for his Netherite. decoration. I was like, does he come like that? <laughs> Because it looked like somebody drew on him, but yeah, he comes like that, little circles. <laughs> I guess in not too long, we'll find out if these are viable eggs. See if they have some babies. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if some of the... I wonder if we have a fish store and... One of the fish had eggs, and uh -huh. the eggs are attached to them. Does that mean we just got free eggs? Yeah. Cool. We spent all the money on this, and then we're going to make it back by selling eggs. <laughs> no, don't, don't. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. We are not selling these eggs. Really? Mommy makes that decision. <laughs> we are not selling these eggs, Mom. I don't think we're going to sell the eggs. Mm -mm. Sell the spawn that come out of the eggs. I mean, we could. We could do that. Yeah. Depends on what they are. What, which one of these fish cannot be for sale? I don't well, I'm not selling any of these fish. These are my fish. First of all, it should be the angel fish. Isn't it? Yeah. Angelo. Angela. You're not an Angela, are you? I don't know. You looking darn itch. Oh, this this fish, by the way, has teeth because it bit me the other day. I was cleaning the glass with this, and I had my arm in it to like reach over there instead of opening the thing straight down. I was like reaching through here to clean that glass. And this angelfish, he was like, "Let me see if this is food. See how he comes over." If I put my hand in there, he'd probably bite me again. Well, it's good sell. He, yeah, he bit me. It sure made me scream. Well, it's good Because he sure enough did bite me. <laughs> Look, I got I one. And I was like, oh, See these tetra? I have one. See how that one's got enormous fins? Yeah. He's the only one with enormous fins like that. Did he get bullied because of that? Uh, well, they're all bullies. These uh, serpe tetras are bullies. They're fin nippers. Get rid of them. Hi. This one's following me around. Hey. Hey there. Oh, no. Loves to eat. Tell oh. you that much. Oh, no. 
He'll bite anything you put in a tank, that's for sure. Bite me. This is a nice fish, though. Ow. Do you just don't want to have two of them, because they'll kill each other. Uh, this one it was four ninety nine. A great deal. So angel fish expensive. The grown ups are yeah. The grown ups are like twenty dollars, thirty dollars, depending on which one you get. Yeah. See how the um these platys like to eat algae, so they'll just be Mama, eating stuff off of the everything. I know the rarest angel fish in the world. What is it? Zebra angel fish. We have that. Wait, what? Mm, I think the koi are. Not rare, but they don't live very long either because they're oh no they're bred bad <laughs> bread. yeah I if you don't it. get like just normal fish they have a lot of problems like if you buy hybrids of stuff they have problems can I name the long fin serpe tetra mm hmm you know can I name him bread? yeah can I name him thick bread. Thick bread. That's his you name. Want to name him Texas Toast. <laughs> What's the name of Texas Toast? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got some eggs. You want to name one, Raphael? I'm going to name the highest one. Cory. Are you serious? But the right Corys now? are the Corydoras. I know. <laughs> Donna. Donna. The shark is out. It's like, what food is disturbing my slumber? He's not aggressive, but he is territorial, so he'll chase. But I've never seen him actually catch anything. But, he is really fast. He's Zoomer. Take my picture. Is he still chewing on that same thing? Yeah, it's an auto sinkless. Need to clean the glass. I just cleaned it, but I, I didn't clean it good enough, I think. Rainbow Before. shark is shorter than ever. Yeah. Wait. One of the auto seekers I spied on today, and guess what? What? He was eating the dirt, dirty stuff out of the sand. Yeah, they're bottom feeders, so they'll try to find food on the bottom. Like, they Leftover food. They weren't just doing it. They're catfish. They were eating the sand, too. No, they don't eat sand. If they do, they'll spit it out. They were eating sand. Yeah, they're just cleaning it. I think we actually cleaned that. <laughs> it was really dirty. Yeah. Look, I got a bacteria blooms. I just cleaned it out yesterday and I must have killed all the bacteria in my filters. I poured some more bacteria in there. There he is. But look though. at this sucker. Look at him. Look, and he'll be like, oh, he's looking at me. What's this? What's this? He will follow you. What's this? What's this, guys? Isn't he pretty? Until he bites you. What's he? He was playing with a ball the other day. Remember? Oh, it wasn't a ball. It was a, a stick. Little no, it was a. Uh, oh yeah, you did pick up the sticks and move it around he several kept times. Playing with it. Yeah, he's like acting like a dog. He is a little cutie, but you just you don't want that mouth on you. I'm telling you. And these guys. Yeah, these are. They're doing well. Yeah, they're vicious. And these guys, they're doing well. Yeah, you see this. See this line? Uh-huh. That's bacteria bloom. And now I've I've already cleaned this out, but I messed up my bacteria by cleaning both filters at the same time. I should have only cleaned one. I killed too much of my bacteria. So that's what this is, but it'll clear. It'll clear up after a while. Yeah, everybody's doing good. This right here, I've got some staghorn algae. And this is new to me. And this is why I was like trying to clean my stuff up. I gotta cut some dead leaves off of it off. It's going to kill my leaves. I might trim the entire plant back, which would really suck, but it's killing my plant. So all the fish are doing well? Yeah, they're doing good. Oh, what's it? Oh, I remember, oh, I that, remember that. 
That tasted good. Ah. He's got to be careful because he'll get fin nipped by these guys, but he can bite back, so nobody wants to get bit by him anyway. And then the shark is in there. He'll come out once in a while. He'll chase some yellow or some orange fishes around. And he'll say, this is my castle. I'll see you later. And then he'll go back in there. But he's in there for sure. That's his house. Yep, they're all doing good. I hate the way that looks, though. Cloudy like that. Hmm. But just have to wait it out. It'll get better. No, you can't eat them. She said, are you feeding them? Because they taste delicious. Look at that. Mm -hmm. He's like the most active snail that I have. See this white one? That's cookies and cream. That's one of the first fish that we got. That's the only one of the first fish that we have. Him and four of the bloodfin tetras. A couple of them down there and right there. They're all in the back there. Mm -hmm. Swimming around. Early in the next morning. Yeah. I'm not gonna see it, Emma. What is it are you trying to see? The tank in crisis. So I woke up this morning and had uh, probably eight of my fish were dead. And a lot of them had white on them. I had to get these fish out because I can't treat them with stuff because they're catfish. Look, there's one of the dead fish. I just found that a little while ago. So this is a tank that I have left up just for fun and I guess it's been cycled and it's got plant, you know, it's got some plants in it and it's been filtered the whole time. Uh, so both of my snails are in here and all of my Cori Doras. I don't think I've lost any yet. Um, they weren't doing good. They were dead. So they're moving now. I have one auto sink list left. Um, so this isn't the cleanest tank, which is probably a good thing. Uh, the snails are really enjoying it in here, but this is a tiny tank. But um, I have one fish left in here, and it's the angelfish, and I cannot catch it. But I need to do like a big water change. Um, I've done a big water change, obviously, because it's like half gone right now, but um, I have to do this in stages. Right now I have salt in the water. That's not what's making it white. I don't actually know what's making it white except for maybe a bacterial bloom. So I was going to leave it alone and just let it do its thing because bacteria bloom is in the water, so I want it to collect on the items, right? So I was going to leave it alone, but then I woke up and my fish were dead. So. I had to immediately do something or I was going to lose literally all of them. But she's back there and she looks better since I put salt in this tank, but she's not going to do good unless I take her out. I did put a, quite a lot of salt in here. Um, aquarium salt or kosher salt without iodine, very good for fish that are sick. This right here, um, it's just, it, just nothing good in this water right now. Nothing good. I. It's a combination of several things. I had to cut back some plants because I had uh, staghorn algae. So I lost like some filtering from there, you know, because they it cleans out the nasty water. But I I can't say like what calls this. I can't say. I don't know. But the fish now. I'll show you. They're in this hospital tank and most of them look really, really good. That one is probably going to die. Um, this has, that one might die as well. They're, they were like covered with white stuff. Covered. And all I have in here as a treatment is salt. And they all look much, much better than what they were. That one up there might die too. Um, you can see this one's eye is a little cloudy, like he's blind in one of his eyes, but um, that should clear up if this treatment is, in, like that one was dead, and it's come back to life. 
That's the last of my original fish that I have. And they were not doing good the day before. And I thought, bacteria bloom, just wait it out. It'll get better. But it didn't. I did a water change, like 25% water change to try to help it. It did not help. So they're in the hospital tank right now. They have a filter plus an air stone in here. So they should be getting all the oxygen. They got salt in here. They're not eating so they shouldn't poop and they haven't ate for probably a couple of days just while this tank thing is going on so and there's an original fish that I one of the first fish that I got cookies and cream and that one right there the bloodfin tetra those are the only two that I have left now it's crazy it's a uh, really really depressing really depressing so I did go to the store to get quite a few things um, I'm gonna try to hook this up to my sink it's a tiny a tiny hose on a um, wrap I'm gonna try to hook it up to my sink with a adapter so I can do water changes more easily just take it from the bathroom into here um, I went to the pet store And I got this because my tank is obviously like a brand new tank now, except it's dirty. But I have bacteria in there, so that that's kind of a good thing. I don't know. Um, I'm going to look this up. It was $5.99, which I thought was a decent price. Uh, it's likely going to take the whole bottle because it says uh, 75 drops basically 75 to 150 drops for the size of tank that I have so um, it's supposed to clear the tank water up and it's natural and organic so they said it's safe 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 but I'm gonna research it because I've never heard of it got some quick start which is bacteria which will help the fish um, I help that fish because I can't get her out she's really quick so and then I got Aqua Essential, which is a new product from API, but it's like the old product that everybody else has. And it smells like sulfur and it removes the, um, it's water conditioner basically. So it'll remove the chlorine in the water and uh, that's what I need, something to remove the chlorine. Um, I put in some like calcium powder it's it's like a bunch of powder it's called equilibrium this is the second time I've used it with bad results it didn't kill my fish but um, it doesn't it, it shocks them I think because it changes the pH anyway this seems really neat this is a reusable thing that goes in your filter and it'll clean up the toxic stuff that's in your tank like the ammonia and nitrite and if the nitrates get really high um, nitrates are like the byproduct of ammonia and nitrite so nitrates are actually what your plants eat my plants are most likely all going to die because I put salt in the tank for the one fish that won't get out <laughs> um, so they're all likely going to die we'll see uh, I might be able to do enough water changes like every day 20% water change hopefully to like not kill my plants but I guess the indicator of when I can bring those fish back in is if this fish heals up and does well if this fish doesn't heal up and do well then I'm like it's likely going to be weeks before they can get back into the tank so I'm gonna look this up real quick see if it's good and then put this in see if it'll clear up the water I'm gonna set this up oh this is reusable so it's it's a pouch of something it says reduces risk of fish loss so it's a pouch of something and it's reusable you put it in salt water for I think it said two hours and it recharges it uh, to use rinse pouch under tap water place pouch in path of water flow in the aquarium filter 
So I guess I would put it in front of the other filter media. And you can use it in a new aquarium when you set it up or whenever the ammonia or nitrite is detected. Also whenever the nitrate measures over 20. Um, you can go like up to 50 for your nitrates as long as you have a lot of plants because the plants need to eat. But you don't want to get too much higher than probably 40 for a normal tank. But it says to recharge, dissolve four tablespoons of aquarium salt in eight ounces of warm tap water and soak pouch for two hours. Then rinse lightly in tap water. When not in use, keep it in the salt water. So I'm going to try this. This sounds amazing and I've never heard of anybody using it, but it sounds like it will help our situation here to get our fish back in the tank quicker. So I'll see. The things you see on the camera that you don't really pay attention to in real life. Yeah. Um, we're going to go down and look at the fireworks down by the lake. What are the red lights now though? There's four of them. Wonder what that is. Anyway, they're having some fireworks over here. I'm going to go look at them. It is very smoky out here. The fireworks. Here, come. What's over here? There we go. That one exploded near the house. Echo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's another one coming. popped over there. Oh, there gets two of them at once. That was huge. Yeah. So high up and tell him. It's like that's his face. Reckon that's that police officer that is doing it? Because there's a road right there. You can see where he's lighting it, see? Don't touch that. Best fireworks of the year. Oh, somebody else over here. Yeah. <laughs> Firework battle. Mosquitoes. Definitely. Bad mosquitoes. Oh, for sure. We're gonna get swarmed. We can leave soon. I'd like to stay here for a lot longer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah the fireworks look good. Yeah, they do. It's all mosquitoes. Yeah, I walk home? No. No. There's another. It's a joke. Another three, I think. Oh, there we go. Gonna have a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I got some right here, yeah, too. Like yeah, it's big. <laughs> oh. 
Ooh, mosquitoes that land right yeah, between your eyes, man. <laughs> I told you we're gonna get swarmed when we come out here. <laughs> here are all them frogs. They're eating good tonight. I bet they're gonna finish it off That's at like so cool. uh, nine or ten. What's it? Mm -hmm. Huge fun fireworks. Yeah, they usually have a big finale. That might be the sound of real TNT. You want to go back to the car and watch it then? I would like to. Yeah, Maybe it's uh, we're getting eat up, so. Let's watch this last one. Here comes another. Yep. You can tell they're lighting up. Look me. Wow. It's loud. Either really <laughs> large or really close. Can you see? I don't even know. What? This this is new. Yeah, they no, they weren't here last year. That's freaky. Maybe we got some more cell service. Maybe we can get AT&T out here, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Ooh. If we were outside, our ears would be exploding. Not just the fireworks in our ears. Oh, there's some, but you can't really see them. <laughs> They're quiet. Yeah. They're really quiet though. This guy's lighting them. Nah, we can just we can just go. Let me get this last one. There we go. Can you see it? Good night. Happy first of July. Happy Independence Day. That's beautiful. Do you see it, Phil? Yeah. Beautiful. Really letting it go. Every year. Hey Raphael, can you do the elevator? aren't subscribed yet please subscribe and like comment and share fully living